I'm Leah Fogel from the Appleton Beer Factory and today we're going to make one of my favorite soups which is our Wisconsin white cheddar cheese corn chowder. Um, the movie magic that we have here, we have started off some of it so I'm going to kind of walk you through what we're going to do. Uh, first we're going to take eight ounces of bacon, you're going to dice it up and you're going to render it with a quarter cup of olive oil. Then we're going to use yellow onion and some salted butter and we're going to get to here. So here we have our um, bacon. We took the bacon out with a slotted spoon and we left the renderings in the pan and then we added that olive oil and the onions and butter and now we are ready to make our roux. We're going to use a half cup of flour and that's going to go in. We're going to get our heat uh, going a little higher here and you're going to stir in that flour. So there are a lot of ways to make a roux. This is a great way to do it when you're making a soup. And then once you've let that cook for about two minutes, you're going to add your kosher salt, your freshly ground black pepper, it's kind of my secret uh, ingredient to this. It is ground turmeric. Ground turmeric adds this gorgeous yellow color to this soup, um, which of course pairs well with corn. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our chicken stock and uh, three, so nine cups chicken stock and then three cups of beer. Again, to make this happen faster, I have it already heating. So we're going to put that in and I'm going to stir that up and get that all incorporated. Uh, you're going to add in your potatoes and I have more than I need there. And if you have fresh corn, like I said, I recommend to boil it in your beer water bath. Uh, frozen corn actually works great for this, so you don't have to stress out if you don't have fresh corn available. Um, again, one of my favorite soups, so I am more than willing to use frozen corn on this one. Then what we're going to do is add in our half and half. Uh, half and half is very forgiving. You don't need to worry about heating it too long. Um, just it, you know, if you have it at a hard boil for a long time, it, it might start to break down a little bit. But half and half is your friend when it comes to a cream soup. If you don't have it, you can use heavy cream and whole milk or heavy cream and skim milk. Um, this is some nice shredded seven-year aged Wisconsin cheddar cheese. And you're going to stir that in and now this is where you have to have some patience. Uh, if you're making this at home, of course you want to wait until your potatoes are tender. That bacon that we pulled off initially, we're going to use to garnish this beautiful uh, soup. Again, the flavor is extraordinary. A nice cheddar cheese is absolutely necessary. Don't skimp on the cheddar. It is not a place to skimp on this soup. You want the big flavor that your cheddar cheese is going to give you. I, of course, don't have a, um, a preference, but I, you know, a Wisconsin cheddar, a nice Wisconsin cheddar is definitely what you want to go with. And there you go, and we're going to garnish this up with our nice rendered bacon from the beginning. And there you go, you have a delicious bowl of white cheddar cheese corn chowder featuring our beautiful Wisconsin cheese. Come and visit us at the Appleton Beer Factory and enjoy a bowl.